Yo, what is going on everybody? Need for Bees over here. So in this video, I will try to once and for all explain to you guys the difference between DX11 and DX12 and how it works. Now there's a lot of information out there on YouTube videos, Reddit posts, etc. that don't really give you the full picture about the real difference between DX11 and DX12 and which one is better for you guys to use when it comes to input lag, better FPS, etc. So I was personally also confused about this issue but I did some research and I finally figured out exactly what's going on. So what I did was I did a bunch of tests. I tested DX11 settings, then I tested DX12 settings, and then I started tweaking them and kind of got the best DX12 settings possible. So throughout the whole thing, what I did was take a look at the input latency debug, right? So Fortnite in the recent update introduced something called the latency debug menu which is right here on the top and what it lets you do is while well, as you're playing the game it gives you information about total game input latency and along with a distribution of each queue and how much uh, latency there's per queue. What I did was first I took my base settings the ones I always use the ones I've been using for months and I kind of recorded the data there so the data here we have what I did was I started on the same I loaded up the map, went to the same creative map, and did start did the same um, little edit course that I made, and kind of tested the I'm um, testing the FPS and the input lag during the period that matters. So a lot of times, you know, people be looking at the creative while they're standing still or in the game, but when it really matters, the input lag has to be low when you're doing a lot of edits, right? That's when it really matters. So the first thing I did is. Um, took this point, so I did the same thing over and over. Did this edit course, started editing like this over and over and over with different settings. So what I did was at this point, I took a look at the input lag and the FPS and kind of recorded it. So as you can see here, on the base DX11 settings, we have 6.5 milliseconds overall input lag. The FPS fluctuate, but we have more than enough. It's between 380 to low 500s, right? So that's not a problem. The other thing you'll notice here, if you zoom in, I'm not sure you can, um, the M on the monitor, it says 50 hertz. So at this point, I was running a dual monitor setup. I have a 50 hertz monitor, or it's a 60 hertz monitor, I think set to 50 hertz, and I have a 240 hertz monitor. Now, I obviously run the game on my second monitor, which, why, which is why even though it says 50 hertz, I'm really running at 240 hertz. Now let me explain something to you guys. The reason why this, the game is running perfectly fine on DX11, on my second monitor, even though the game thinks that my refresh rate is 50 hertz, is because on DX11, the game is able to run in full screen exclusive. Full screen exclusive mode means Windows has no control over the window itself over the application and it gives and essentially windows gives full control to fortnite over the whole window of how it's being composited how it's being displayed how it's being rendered it's giving full control to fortnite this is possible on dx11 full screen exclusive however it is not possible on dx12 now that doesn't mean that dx12 is worse and i explain to you guys why in just a second so just so we get an idea here m is the monitor refresh rate u is ultra low latency the low latency ultra on the nvidia settings and then b stands for boost all right so u is the low latency ultra mode and b stands for boost right so u and b are going to be on for dx11 because as you guys know uh, in the latest update nvidia or fortnite did add the uh, did add options for nvidia reflex low latency mode on plus boost and on plus boost right so that is what that that is where the u and the b comes from now if i just go on it'll say u on b off right so you guys get that if you guys don't understand what the u and the b means u means ultra low latency mode b means the boost essentially though boost is just the same thing as just setting your gpu to maximum performance essentially not limiting it in power so these are the numbers we have i went i went ahead and recorded them on a spreadsheet uh, for DX11, we have these numbers. As you can see, we have some DX12 numbers. So let's take a look at what I did next. So the next thing I did was using the same setup, I went ahead and ran DX12. 
right? So as you guys can see, I did um I said I put it on DX12, but I'm still running with a dual monitor setup. So the game still thinks I'm running at this 50 hertz, even though I'm not, I'm running at 240. That is why this input delay is ridiculous. 21 milliseconds. That's really bad. Ridiculous, right? That is number two. So if you have if you have a dual monitor setup and it's and you're running DX12 and you're not running at your primary monitor's um, refresh rate, the highest one, then you're gonna have problems, okay? So that's just one thing you guys should keep, should keep in mind. Now, what I did next was I went into a single monitor setup. So I only ran DX12, I only ran one monitor, the 240 hertz monitor, DX12. So once I did that, my input latency decreased Dramatically, right? So what happened here is, as you can see, my input latency goes between four and five milliseconds. As you can see right here, about four to five. Don't really worry about this. But now you can see M is 240 hertz. U means ultra latency mode is off, and boost is also off, right? So even though all these new reflex low latency and ultra are off, we're getting lower latency, right? Why is that? Because TX12 is newer, right? So just keep that in mind. So this is what we have for just the regular setup. Uh, just DX12 with a single monitor setup. Uh, we do have lower input latency. We definitely do. And when it comes time to doing all these edits and stuff, we do get lower latency. So this is just another clip of the same thing. Now what I did was, again, look at the same point in time for the clips, and I recorded the difference in FPS latency. So for me, for DX12, I had higher FPS. Total latency was decreased. Um, the game latency did not change, really. It was kind of the same. Uh, the render latency was slightly higher. So what it means is it took slightly longer to render it. But overall, we were still at a lower latency. Now, the driver latency was also slightly, slightly, teeny, teeny bit higher. But really, it's pretty much exactly the same. But... Our operating system, the OSQ, was significantly lower along with the GPU render time, which is what really matters. It was also lower. So for me, overall, DX12 was a better option. Now, the other thing, if you guys um, do Fortnite optimizations or watch any videos about Fortnite optimizations, you know that the first thing anybody and everybody tells you to do is go to the Fortnite game like this. Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries here. Go to the client shipping properties, compatibility, and they all tell you to disable full screen optimizations. Now, this is correct if you're running DX11. However, DX12, you do want those full screen optimizations. So here's, here's how DX12 works. DX12, you're not able to go into full screen exclusive mode, right? So naturally, people think, okay, if the game can't go in full screen exclusive, it means you have more input lag. But that is not correct. This is a blog from Microsoft.com. I will put this link in the description below. You guys can take a uh, read of this. So the whole point Microsoft decided to do is they were like, okay, well, we know that games run better in full screen exclusive mode. But we also know that full screen exclusive is kind of a pain in the ass because the alt tabbing back and forth is just painful, right? So what they decided to do is they wanted to let the game run in full screen exclusive but with the with the benefit of being able to alt tab and do all this other stuff so the way they worked it out was when using full screen optimizations your game believes that it's running in full screen exclusive but behind the scenes windows has the game running in borderless window mode now when a game is running in borderless window mode the game does not have full control of the display dwm desktop window manager manages the composition so it allows you to alt tab and do certain things now the good thing is though dwm however this control has historically resulted in slight performance overhead versus full screen exclusive now that's what we're talking about with dx11 where the game has full control now to get back this performance overhead we enhance dwm to recognize when a game is running in borderless full screen window with no other applications on the screen so even though it's running in full borderless window mode, if there's no other application on the screen, DWM gives control of the display and almost all of the CPU, GPU part to the game. So Microsoft understands that games run better in full screen exclusive. However, they're just trying to make it 
everything more pleasant, you know, the experience more pleasant for you, so you are able to alt tab back and forth quickly without issues. The problem is a lot of people when they do turn on DX12, they forget to turn off full screen optimizations. So they still have full screen optimizations disabled, which is part of the reason why you have all these game crashes and all this nasty stuff. But make sure that if you run DX12, disable full, full screen optimizations. Now, another thing I want to show you guys is, I'm going to go ahead and start a Fortnite right now. But another thing I want to show you is <clears throat> the NVIDIA settings. A lot of times people will just switch to DX12 from DX11 in their Fortnite um, settings, right? They'll just switch it, they'll start it up, and they'll see how awful and terrible the performance is and instantly go back. What they don't realize is that there's a few settings that you need to change if you're going to be moving from DX11 to DX12. So here's my new DX12 settings. I will be using DX12 because it's obviously less input lag. It is newer, and once you get the settings right, it is much better DX11, guaranteed. So here's a, here's the thing. Low latency mode does not exist, does not really work for DX12. It doesn't exist. So that's why you turn it off. You got to turn it off. A lot of people don't want to do it. They're like, I want low latency mode. I want the least input lag. But you have to turn it off. If you even if you leave it on all on or ultra, it's not gonna make a difference because you'll notice in Fortnite it will still show you is off. There's n there's no way to turn it on because ultra low latency is only for DX11. Now the other thing is uh, when it comes to um, the reflex when it comes to Fortnite the settings in Fortnite. If you're running at DX12, right? You want to make sure that in the settings, you disable. Um, you want to make sure that in the settings, you disable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Now, let me show you guys something. You can go ahead and put in Creative Launch. So, a lot of people they just they just turn on all the settings to what they think is the best, but they don't realize that settings can actually clash with each other. Like if you have NVIDIA reflex low latency on and boost, and you're running DX12, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't make sense because, look, NVIDIA reflex low, la low latency does not exist for DX12. As you can see on the top here, M240 hertz, U off, B off. Right now, the reason why I have higher input lag right now, the reason why it's at 8 milliseconds and not at 4 or 5, is partially because I'm recording at 60 FPS, right? But here we go. You want to. U is off and B is off. Now what you can do, a lot of people do, is they turn on NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to on plus boost. And what they see is they see B is on. So like, man, this must be better. But it's not. Because all boost is, because what you just did, there's a reason why there is no such setting as just boost. Why it has to be on plus boost. Because e NVIDIA, the boost thing is literally, it's not... It's not magic. The boost is just a boost to the GPU's power. But all these uh, reflex low latency really only applies to DX11. At DX12, you're already ha you're already going to have a better uh, running DX12. Look, I'm I'm recording at 60 FPS, and my my input lag is slightly higher here at six or seven milliseconds, right? But overall, it's still the same. So, but the benefit of running DX12 is I'm able to alt tab like this without any issues. Absolutely no problem. It's a lot easier to alt tab out of Windows, and your your input lag is still low. It's not lower than it was before. The other thing is your FPS actually does get higher. At least for me, for my Nvidia 2070 Super, the FPS does go higher. Like if I go to the lobby, for example, my FPS goes a little above 700, which it never really usually does on DX11. Now it does say it's in beta, so there might be a few crashes here and there, but my game crashes plenty on DX11. So I don't think DX12 beta is what's causing the crashes. I think it's just coincidence, right? Now NVIDIA DLSS, that is still that still applies because that's that has nothing really to do with um input latency. That has more to do with optimizing your um your images, displaying them with fewer pixels, right? So that's not that's that has not, nothing really to do with uh, with latency, so I would leave that on. That's a, that's a whole different subject. But what I wanted to kind of explain to you guys is, if you're running DX12, 
you should try both settings. But if you're running DX12, make sure you enable full screen optimizations in Fortnite. Okay? And make sure in the NVIDIA control panel settings, you turn off low latency mode. And last but not least, make sure that in the Fortnite settings, you turn off NVIDIA reflex low latency. Once you do that, trust me, you should give DX12 a try. If you have one of those uh, newer cars, like a 20 series or even a 1650, one of those ca NVIDIA cars with the latest drivers, I would highly recommend you guys try DX12 because you will get lower input lag and overall better FPS. So I hope this video helped clarify exactly the difference between DX11 and DX12. And if this video helps you guys get better settings and low input lag, hit that like button. Need for beans, out. Peace!